Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're going to be talking about transition and stingers. Now, there are two major things that I want to get across in this video. I want to show you how to use the transitions, but I also want to announce that I have a brand new transition pack that has, well, you probably saw the thumbnail, 169 transitions, 169 files in total. Nice. And basically, I'm going to quickly show you how you can apply those transitions, and then I will showcase all of the transitions that will be in the pack. To add a new custom transition, you would go here on top of your scene list, click on edit scene transition, and then here you will have a global transition. You'll click that little pencil to edit it. And here you can choose transition type. Make sure you select stinger. And then um, for those transitions, every transition in this pack is one second long. Those are fast transition. Um, so duration is going to be a thousand. That's a thousand milliseconds. Then for transition point type, you'll make sure you have milliseconds. You can put 500. That means that the point where you want it to switch scenes is going to be in the middle of the transition, which is a thousand milliseconds. So transition point is going to be 500 because that's half of a thousand. <laughs> and in video file, this is where you're going to browse and you're going to find your exact uh, transition. For example, the arrow one is one of my favorites from this pack. Uh, let's pick uh, blue. Okay click done and now your global transition that means this transition is going to be applied to every every scene switch basically so if i click on game you'll see arrows pop in and now i'm in my game uh transition if i want to go to my starting soon screen boom there it is okay let's go back to full screen here it is. Okay, so another thing you can do with Streamlabs is actually have different transition for different scene switches. Basically, if you want your starting soon to full screen to be a different transition than your full screen to game uh, scene, you can add transition and name it uh, whatever. We're going to keep it a uh, new transition. So we're going to pick up Stinger here, pick a video file. Let's go with uh, Void. I really like this one. And let's go with Pink. So duration is always a uh, thousand. You can put, you can extend the duration if you feel like it's cutting a little too close. So let's put 1,500. Okay. Uh, transition point is still going to be 500 though. So here is where you choose which transition is default and connection is where you're going to put the connection between scenes. So we're going to add connection. Beginning scene is going to be the first scene that you want to start from. Then ending scene is going to be the ending scene. And in the middle, you can choose which transition, but you have to add all the transition. We have two right now. We have global transition and then new transition. New transition is uh, the one we just added. So between starting soon and full screen, I'm going to have one transition. Okay, so I created that connection. And then the rest is going to be default normally. So if I go to my starting soon screen, you'll see that from full screen to starting soon, I'm going to have the arrows. And then from starting soon to full screen, I'm supposed to have uh, the void. And here it is. One thing that you do need to know is that transitions can be a little clunky sometimes. I don't know what makes it like that, but sometimes you do have to adjust the, um, uh, the timing. Even though all the transitions are one second, maybe your computer will struggle a little bit. In that case, just play around with the numbers until you find something uh, that matches perfectly with your computer. If your computer is taking time to load the transition, uh, that's out of my hands, basically. You have to adapt. So what I mean by that is you go to your uh, settings for that specific transition and you can play around with the duration. Duration is supposed to be a second, but if you can, if you want to make it longer or if you want to make the transition point placed a little uh, further. So yeah, from what I can see from the uh, use of my CPU is that transitions are very intensive on your CPU. So if you're streaming from a laptop or if you're streaming from a low end machine, honestly, I don't advise you getting custom transitions. I am so bad at selling those custom transitions. So one thing you need to know is that um, this overlay pack is not an overlay pack. This transition pack actually comes with 13 different styles of uh, transitions, as you could probably see on my folders. The thing is that makes them 169 is that each transition, each of the 13 transitions have nine different colors. This transition pack is sold for $5 on gumroad.com slash get level. And uh, if $5 is too much for you for a transition pack, that's fine because I have another transition pack that has about 25 transitions and that one is 99 cents, which is more than reasonable. But that's the end of the tutorial part. Now I'm going to show you all the transitions and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. The transition pack is available right now at gumroad.com slash gal level. I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the transitions. Gal level. Jesus.
out.